Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be testing out and reviewing a couple of products from the brand The Crayon Case, including the new Rule Nudes Palette, as well as a couple of their Velvet Liquid lipsticks. But before we get into that, question of the day. Have you ever tried this brand? And if so, what was your favorite product? Let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I was at Walmart earlier this morning and I saw, I've seen this brand quite a bit actually, but I just never bought anything from it because they are a little over what I like to spend at Walmart on products, but I just decided to go ahead and go for it this morning. So uh, this is a brand called The Crayon Case. So they are, I think they're only sold at Walmart as far as any retail stores. Um, I don't think I've seen them anywhere else, but they do have their own online store as well. Um, and it looks like they have quite a few products up there. This is actually one product that I really wanna try. They have the like binder palettes and each one is like a different color. So they have like the orange edition, the red edition, the green edition. Uh, I think it looks really cool. But today I got the nudes palette. This is the new rule 12 nudes palette. Uh, it's kind of, kind of looks like a little ruler, which that is the aesthetic of this brand is kind of school products. Really the only products that they had at the Walmart I was at was this palette, the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks, as well as they do have some makeup wipes, I think. They did not have the crayon case, like the actual crayon palette. Looks like this. They were all out of that one. So, as with all review videos, I'm gonna go through the product details. We are gonna go through swatches. I'm gonna show you how I got this very simple look that is on my eyes today. And then I'm gonna end with my pros and cons and my review and rating for this product, so. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first we're gonna talk about the palette. So this is called the New Rule. This is a 12 shadow palette. It is a nudes palette. And if you open it up, it looks kind of like that LA Girl nudes palette is kind of what it looks like. It's also kind of in the same shape as the uh, Urban Decay Naked palettes. This comes with 12 shades. We have seven matte shades and five shimmer shades. And this was 1997. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. We have, this is from right to left, we have the shades Mile, Yard, Foot, Inch, Parsec, Light Year, Astronomical Unit, Kilometer, Decimeter, Centimeter, Millimeter, and Meter. So this actually did swatch really well. I was um, kind of pleasantly surprised. So let's go ahead and go into how I created this very simple look that is on my eyes right now. All right, so pros and cons of the new rule nudes palette. So con number one is actually the size of the pans. I'm not a huge fan of these pans. I kind of feel like if you have a fluffy blending brush, you kind of have to like work to get the shade like completely on the brush. I feel like when it's like this too, you tend to have a little more kick up that gets into the other shades next to it. I'm not a huge fan of these rectangular, like long skinny rectangular pans for a palette. And then con number two was actually the price. 
This is a 12 shadow palette and it was $20, which I feel like for a brand that's at Walmart, that seems pretty high priced. It's not like exorbitant or anything, but I don't know. For some reason, when I saw the palette, I reached for it and then when I saw the price, I almost put it back. I feel like there are other brands at Walmart that I can get like a 20 shadow palette for around 20 to 24 dollars the price seemed a little bit high but that is it for the cons moving on to pros pro number one is actually the quality of these shadows i thought that they performed really well the matte shades there was a lot of color payoff to them but not too much they were easily blendable it didn't take long at all to blend these shades out the shimmer shades are really pretty they're not too impactful I guess you could say um, but that's actually how I like my shimmer shades I like to just have like a light almost wet looking shimmer on my eyes pro number two I actually liked the shades that were chosen for this palette there is a good mixture of mattes to shimmers there's a good mixture of cool tones to warm tones I like the I like the shades that were chosen for this palette all right, so those were the pros and the cons. I'm gonna wait to give this a final rating until the end after we talk about the lipsticks. So let's go ahead, talk about the lipsticks. All right, so the next product that we have, this is called the Crayon Case Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I honestly didn't realize that that's what it was when I bought it. I just saw lip products. I, felt, I saw that there were only three shades. So I was like, well, let's get it. I'm not usually a big fan of liquid lipsticks. I do think that there is a time and place for them in my life, and so I do tend to have a few on hand. So this right here is called, sorry, it's the Hashtag Rule Breaker Velvet Liquid Lipstick, and it does come in three shades. So we have the shades Short, Adams, and Cherokee. The price for these, these were $11.97 each. Let's go ahead and get to the lip swatches. Alright, so pros and cons of the hashtag rule breaker velvet liquid lipstick. So con number one, it is a little drying, but it is not the most drying liquid lipstick that I've ever used, um, not by far. And I think being drying is kind of the nature of a liquid lipstick. It is not like making my lips crack or anything. It's not that drying. I do feel like I just need some chapstick or lip gloss or something like that, but Again, I think that, I don't think I would be bothered by this if I were to go out and about somewhere just wearing this. I don't think I would be bothered all night by my dry lips. Con number two was actually just with the shade Cherokee. And I don't even know if it could really be considered a con, but it did take a little bit of buildup for this. And again, that might just be the nature of this shade. Um, I feel like shades like purple and then sometimes even red uh, you do kind of have to build it up a little bit more as far as the pricing i was going to say that was another con but i kind of feel like the pricing 12 dollars a piece is it's not too much that still is like i like for walmart or for a drugstore when i go and get makeup for lip products 
and like eyeliners and stuff like that I like for them to be like ten dollars or less these are like around twelve dollars each so it's a little high but it still is not like I said it's not exorbitant it's not too much all right so that is it for cons moving on to pros I actually think that this is a somewhat comfortable feeling on the lips um, as I said, it's not cracking on my lips, which I feel like that's, sorry, that was a weird face. I feel like that is the biggest problem that I have with liquid lipsticks a lot of the times. This is another pro, completely transfer proof. I do also really, really like these two shades right here. I guess this would be pro number three. I love this red color. Love how it looks. It was so easy to apply. I did get a little bit on my teeth i did have to clean my teeth off a little bit uh but it wasn't too bad all right so as far as ratings let's give ratings to these two products first starting off with the eyeshadow palette i would give this actually you know what i think i'm going to i think i have the same rating for both products so we're just going to give a rating for both i'm going to give both of these a four and a half I think that this is nothing special, so I don't think that you will be missing out if you don't get it, but I do think that if you get it, you will be happy with it. Um, it is a nice palette. It performs well. Um, I think it is a nice everyday palette, so you will probably use it quite a bit. Then for the lipsticks, I find them somewhat comfortable. They are transfer proof. To me, they do exactly what you would expect from a liquid lipstick. I think if you are interested, if you wanna get these products, I do not think that you will be disappointed. So, there we go. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload every Tuesday and Thursday for beauty and makeup every Saturday, as well as Maybe a video sprinkled in throughout the week for BTS content. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.